Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Battletech. Joining me is JK Lantern. Who is currently full of pasta. Full of pasta. Well, that's mm -hmm. not the worst thing to be full of. Yep. Yep, still the only one on the map. Yeah, okay. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Time to go beat up some Davians for the glory of House Karita. And who knows what else. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. What? <laughs> like, I'd be curious to send you some of the house books to have you look at them, just to see which house you adopt from a cultural standpoint. Because, like, House Karita, part of the fun of them is their government shouldn't work. They as a nation should not work. And yet they continue to survive. Nothing we haven't seen before. Yep. I have my doubts there are any uh, random events pop up that we haven't seen by this point. I know there were a couple associated with flashpoints, but... Oh, there is one associated with a flashpoint, but it's not this one. Well, we've seen a couple of those pop up. Yep. Yeah, I know there's at least one through the biggin. I mean, we we got to hand over, not Goku. That that was that was beautiful. That was so satisfying. It made me happy. Yep. Okay. Anything in, anything worth looking at in the store? I know in one of the, at the time of this recording, um, one of the recent videos I think had the Banshee 3S show up, and I was like, ooh, I want that! How young and naive I was. Yeah, how, how long ago it was. It, it's still a good mech, it's just don't class by everything we have. Mm-hmm. So, okay, Bob, what you got for us? <laughs> uh, I, uh, God, the crew are so much better in the DLC too. Yeah, they really are. Yeah, what brings you all the way out to Davian turf? I need to kill a man. Straightforward. <laughs> Have I mentioned I love Bob Karina? That is straightforward. Oh, okay. Lore dump time. So, uh, Rosselhog is one of the military districts of the Draconis Combine. It's consistently the one that is the most restive. It was originally a, an independent nation known as the Principality of Rosselhag. So throughout, things happen, it becomes part of House Karita. It's never entirely thrilled about that. Um, and at this time, there is actually an independence movement, the Kier movement, um, named for the Norse god. And the various leaders of it have gemstones as code names. One of those leaders of it, in fact, is codenamed Ruby. You might know Ruby by another name. Duke Hasid Ricola. So, Ricola, huh? Yep, Duke, Duke Ricola is Ruby of the Tear Movement, and they, and the Black Dragon Society ends up adopting that. But yeah, Russell Hogg is one of my favorite lesser factions, because of what happens to them down the line. Hmm. 
And, and you should like them, too. Because they get access to Monokuma. Yeah, but they 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 have Ricola as one of their leaders. Oh, oh no, no. Um, R Ricola ends up... Ricola is in it for himself, so he... When, when Rasselhog gets its independence from House Karita in 30, 33, 30, 34, um, Duke Ricola ends up becoming in charge of the little chunk of the Rasselhog military district that doesn't gain its independence. Um, it gets... that part becomes the Alshane military district. But yeah, so R Rasselhog is angry Viking people. Hmm. In Samurai Land. You can see why uh, they don't entirely mesh. Yeah, that, that's a that's a conflict of a conflict in the making. I recently saw Rosselhog come up as a metaphor in a political thread on Reddit, and I was like, I'll take Battletech references I wasn't expecting to see here for a hundred, <laughs> Alex. Yeah, the tier the tier movement definitely has connections in uh, Lyre and space, and in fact, um, the the Lyrans were hoping to like, okay, we'll get Rosselhog to declare their independence from House Karita, and then we'll just quietly absorb them. And they screw the pooch, and that doesn't wind up happening. Hmm. But um, they they are supplying the tier movement with Max, and there's. They actually help create the Tier Regiment, which is um, sort of a guerrilla fighting force. You were honorable in your own way. That I I like that, Bob. Okay, so and Bob's gonna everything he's told us up to this point, I I sincerely believe that he actually thinks this is going to be fairly easy for us. Yep. Which and... means he's wrong and we're going to have a fight on our hands. He's gonna be a little bit more hands on than he has been previously, which is more in keeping with the uh Cretan professional soldier liaisons. Um Oh, wow, we have to repair the Black Knight real quick. I thought I did. So did I. I thought I did that. I mean, it's not like we need to worry about time now, but... Yeah. It's still kind of annoying. It's like, I hit those buttons. Job's done, Commander. And you're, you're back in your thing there. Like, I remember doing that. Yeah, so do I. Davian hates us now, by the way. You know what? Davian I'm is fine not with a happy that. group. I'm fine with that. So, someone in the audience is going, but Davian's my favorite. Yeah, they're boring. St Steiner at least has blissful incompetence going for them. As we far as... have Bradford. Ugh. Yeah, that's, um, there's something about that one.
The, the Dathians are one of the more tactically apt factions. They, they actually have, like, a competent professional military. Did, did they develop teleporter technology? Oh, New Avalon since Institute of Science is a thing, so maybe? <laughs> they shouldn't have. Because they'd have to, to get away with what they just did there. Yeah. See what happens if we don't just hop over the mountain. Yeah. Even though that's... Even though considering the nature of the mission, that's how I've played it up till now. You betcha. Especially since I'm up against the border of the, uh... I'm up against the border of the map. Yeah. Which is like, okay, so where did everybody come from? Got it. <laughs> from Hi, underground bunkers, which admittedly is a thing that has happened. On the move. So I got the I I got the hint that the evac zone would be like down here or something from the way they moved the camera. Yep. Roger. Unfortunately. I'm just gonna have to be really careful here, I guess. Uh huh. On my way. I've got eyes on the target. There's a 60 ton mech. We don't know what it is because it's randomized. It's a rifleman. Okay. So instead of a quick draw, they have a rifleman. Receiving you. And unfortunately, that freaking map is not right. Unfortunately, it's kind of still hard to get to because, well, cover. Got something. There's an 80 ton vehicle over there. It's like, I know that Cyclops was in here with the uh, damage reduction and all, yeah. but still, that was 500 points of damage pumping into it. Yeah. Targeted on center torso, and its center torso didn't have a scratch. Waiting for orders. Copy I'm that. not exactly buying that. All 
more missile boats this time. Well, not missile boats necessarily, but things with things missiles with at least. Yeah. So let's see, what is that? 80, 80, 80, and 60. Okay. Uh, this... I'm That's guessing at the least only one change of them... is the 70. There was an 80, 80, 80, 70. Now it's 80, 80, 80, 60. What can I do for you? A 90 ton mech back there. That's a demolisher this time. The rifleman has popped up. Luckily, the rifleman is made of tissue paper. Yep. So there's your potato, as long as we can finish out this mission. Again, I'm weirdly fond of the Rifleman. What's up, boss? Honestly, a lot of the mechs that are less than perfect tend to have more character to me. I mean, that's a demolisher. I didn't expect to blow it up with a missile barrage. I've been sensor locked. If we can slow play this. If we can slow play this. Light. So I'm definitely not a fan of the way this mission has progressed. No. Yes, Commander. To, to be fair, it's supposed to be like the culmination of like everything, essentially. So, so it makes sense that it would be harder than some of the other On missions. My way. Yeah, but, but that, still. it seemed like it was a little bit hard in the completely wrong way. That is an LRM carrier. I don't Earth. like that. Primary target damage. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. I didn't read what that was. Neither did I. Quick draw. Um, uh, friggin' quick draw. I hear ya. Got a lock. We can keep that demolisher sensor locked, or at least keep it close. Yep. Okay, there are no good outcomes for me there. At least no easy outcomes. Okay. Got rid of their quick draw. Not exactly a huge achievement, but still. It's one less thing that's shooting at us, which yep. is good. E even if it's only a quick draw, it's still less guns. Okay, that's an LBX demolisher versus a regular demolisher versus another LBX demolisher. This annoys me greatly. One less LBX demolisher. Like enemy reinforcements. Okay, so where they They're literally right. popped up on top of us. Mm -hmm. 
Gibbs on the Highlander. Damage minimal. But no, it's you see that. Yeah. So there's a Highlander up there, a 90 ton mech there. So what do we got? We get a Stalker, we get a Black Knight, we get a Highlander, and we get a Quick Draw. All of them kind of surrounding us. Waiting on you, Commander. We're less we're less beat up than we were, but this position. <laughs> yes, it does. What do, we need to do? Like I'm. The mission can't possibly want us to go the long way around, can it? There's no way we could catch up. I think it just brings in reinforcements once we blow up the second vehicle. Okay. Nothing here is good to have. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? Let let's take a calculated risk, shall we? This isn't targeted. Right. But I am still aiming I'm still aiming that UAC five at the Highlander's back. Yeah. Multiple enemies locked and missed. Is there a chance? Probably not. It's not the worst threat, but I think it was the one I was most likely to take care of completely. It's one of the bigger threats on the table. Receiving you.
I may lose pieces of a lot of mix today. Luckily, we bought a lot of spare parts. Yep. I'm tempted to say have me go after the stalker. And try to potato it. Yes, Commander. I don't know if that's a good plan. I don't know if anything's a good plan with this group. Seriously, did they drop the friggin' Davian assault guards on us? What the hell is this? Maybe. This is going to be overkill, but I need it. That takes care of the Highlander that was right in our faces. There goes my torso. Damn it. Got the potato on the stalker. That's good. That's good. Problem is, I am just in deep trouble, period. Yeah. Not as much as I was in a few minutes ago, though. There's only one left out of that reinforcement unit, and it's quick draw. I need to keep retreating, though. As long as I can still shoot things, I think I'm okay. They blew up a lot of UACs there. Which is deeply upsetting. It's still enough to blow up a demolisher. Ultra ACs are really broken in this game, but I don't care. blow either of these up yet. You might be able to blow up the demolisher just because vehicles are more fragile. Yeah, but it would it, it would take a little bit of never seems like just LRMs by itself. Yeah. I'm gonna take an injury now. Your God. A 90, a 90, and an 80 vehicle. Okay. Well, there goes that plan. Affirmative. 
The Burton is one of a healthier mechs. Okay, now with any luck, any luck at all, I can blow that thing up and make a run for it. That's my hope. Yeah. You know what? I, I've made a decision. Every Cyclops in the galaxy has to go. They're all bad, they all need to die. Together, I'm going to eject. Warning. Armor low. I'm ejecting out of the annihilator. I have 60 center torso left. Yeah, let's. let's... And we've got a Highlander and a Cyclops bearing right down on us. Can I not eject? I don't see any way to eject. I don't remember where the eject button was. I might make it out. Commander? Commander? I got two to the evac zone. Damage 
Yang is gonna be pissed. Seriously, I remember. Where was the eject button on the damn thing? I thought it was like right there above all the rest of every, all the rest of the. Uh... Because we pulled, we did that one mission. Yes, we had to do that. That one mission in the uh, America Alliance. Yeah. Standing by. On it. And I'm out. Information is incomplete. Bob. I am not surprised by that. None of the vehicles were occupied and they were just remotely piloted. Oh, balls. Really? Uh huh. Uh, this is gonna. So, how suck. the hell are you supposed to not take all the goddamn damage? An assault. An assault lance drops right on top of you if you take the path you should take. I mean, I have other mechs and other pilots. We, we haven't customized them quite as much as these ones, but... Anything else in here? Thank you. 